What's going on everybody? Thanks for tuning back in and welcome back to the channel. Today's a pretty exciting one. I have been wanting something like this for a little while. So you know how you have things on a car that you need, but then you have things on the car that you kind of just want, you have your wants and needs. Well, I received something today that I have been wanting for a little while. Um, we hit up our boy Ace at Weld Racing and we got a new set of wheels, an old Nova. So I haven't even opened these things yet. We just got them in. So I thought I would uh, open them up with you guys and see what these things look like. The wheels on the Nova have been on there for a long time. I think the date code that I found on them was like 1990 or something. So we hit up our boy, Ace, and got this new wheel. They're definitely shinier. <laughs> Some Alpha One. Oh my God, they're so much lighter. Are you so excited? They're hubless, which I think will look pretty sweet. And they're super light. So this is a 15 inch wheel by 14 wide and five inch back spacing is what's gonna work good on, on the Nova. Polished hoop and a black center. Why don't you tell Damn. them the story of how you told me? <laughs> yeah, she didn't know that these were coming until about, I don't know, an hour ago. <laughs> I finally broke the news to her, so. No, those look sweet. I really gotta thank uh, Ace at Weld for, for hooking us up, and uh, I'm excited to see what these things look like on the, on the Nova. Out with the old, in with the new. So obviously these wheels aren't bead locked, so we're gonna go ahead and put rim screws back in them. And these, my current wheels are set up with five on each side, so 10 rim screws on each, uh, each wheel. So we're gonna go ahead and mark these. Probably gonna pain me to do it, but I'm gonna drill some holes in these brand new wheels and we'll uh, make sure it's all set up for rim screws again. I'm also gonna take off the rear brakes and I'm gonna clean up the ends of the axles um, since these Alpha 1s are hubless, the end of the axle um, is going to be showing in here. So I want to clean that up and then I'll, I'll spray paint it black if I need to, if it needs to be darkened up or anything like that. So yeah, we'll get right into it and uh, I'm excited to see these things mounted up. the end of the axles painted and also the mounting face of the rotor um, since my new wheels are hubless I wanted to clean this area up a little bit so it looks a lot better uh, the M and the E for Mosier I did separate in a silver color so hopefully that stands out a little bit but so that's looking a ton better so uh, now I think we're gonna go ahead and drill these um, rim screws The holes for the rim screws drilled that might have been one of the scariest things I've ever done because I didn't want to walk a bit on a brand new wheel so I took my time and they actually turned out really good but I was a little nervous through the whole process but they turned out good and something else cool came in the mail today holy crap oh it is so dirty I can't wait to wash this thing but got something else cool in the mail today decided since uh we are upgrading the back wheels. Might as well upgrade the front runners as well. So got some new 
front wheels, the spoked look, which I like, because you can see the Willwood brakes through the wheel now. So I got those. Ready to go. Got the old wheels here, ready to come off the tires. We're gonna go see Chad and the crew down at Big O Tires, downtown Boise, and uh, get these tires mounted on the new wheels. in the garage and they look amazing. I can't wait to put them on. Um, I did weigh the old wheels um, at 53 and a half pounds and just weighed the new Alpha 1s uh, with the tire mounted and they were 49 and a half pounds. So four pounds per each wheel. Uh, so eight pounds total in the rear of rotating weight that we're saving. So I'm pretty excited about that. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get these mounted up and roll the car outside and see what it looks like. Is going to do it for today's video guys i appreciate you watching i really want to thank my sponsors and companies that help me out barbed wire enterprises ramcon construction mazir enterprises ultimate transmission and uh, weld wheels without you guys man wouldn't be possible and we wouldn't be able to make cars look as good as that one so like i said i appreciate you guys watching make sure to like subscribe and uh, we'll catch you in the next video see ya